Kia ora koutou, everyone from Pakuranga, Auckland. Land Rover First 15 Rugby this afternoon sees the 1A kickoff for the 2022 season as St. Kendigan College hosts St. Peter's. For the last two years, First 15 competitions all around the country have been cancelled or disrupted due to COVID. Thank goodness we managed to crown a 1A champion last year. Big congrats to Calston boys. But we're back for another year. Bev and Joa and Afisa Tudu in the commentary for this one. And Afisa, let's hope there's no more disruptions. No, I think we're all over that uh, the COVID stuff now. It's really good to see Fisher Thing Rugby back out there on the field, and what a beautiful day for it. And I must say, uh, welcome back to the commentary, by the way. Welcome back to Sky Sport. Uh, let's talk about St. Peter's. Uh, they came second last year, just the one loss. They'll look to do one better this year. Yeah, well, the, obviously there'll be uh, a, a, a lot to prove, um, but no better place to come and really test yourself out than uh, at St. Kent's. Let's have a look at the starting teams, first of all, in the St. Kentigan's College side. Kolo, Angai Malo and Brown in the front row. Fayers and Brown in the locking department also. Martin, Tito and Mangu making up the starting forward pack. And into the backs, Covers and Barucci in the halves. Terapo and Taele in the centres. Naufahu, Moen on the left wing and Patuawa bringing up the rear. And there is the bench, coached, of course, by De Cesar Lavia. And earlier on, I caught up with their captain. Well, you finished mid-table last year, but you are building. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely definitely coming off an embarrassing, uh, sort of disappointing season last year. So, yeah, definitely hoping to um, uh, improve this year. And I um, think, yeah, definitely got a good group of boys. Uh, it's been a long pre-season, been a lot of hard work. So, yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to this game to set off our season, yeah. What are some of your side strengths? Uh, definitely, definitely got some speed out there. Um, definitely uh, got to play the wits. Uh, I think we can uh, definitely run these run these boys around. Um, so yeah, just stick to our structure. And, uh, yeah, surely should get happen today. What part of the St. Peter's game will you be weary of? Uh, we know we're going to bring it uh, physically. Uh, definitely going to be tough battles up front. So um, yeah, definitely uh, definitely got to bring it in that that area. If we meet them there, then I think uh, definitely exploit them in other areas. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Hibs. Let's check out the St. Peter's side for this game. Paulette Tuivaiti and Lua Manavai in the front row. Tupo Via and Smith. The locks bent. Tangi Mono and Pattaya in the number seven jersey. And into the backs, Fukufuka and Hull in the halves. Siomanu Tingafua and Faimani in the centres. And Nansen, Malifa and Burley bringing up the rear. And there's the bench coached by Walter Alvarez. Earlier on, I caught up with their camp. You were one short of the 1A last year, so you're going to get closer this year. Yeah, yeah. the boys just need to stick to our game plan and stuff and our system. But yeah, the boys are a bit good about last year, but yeah, new season this year, new start. What are some of your team's strengths? The team's strengths are definitely our set piece and stuff. Got a strong back line and yeah, the forward pack's pretty strong as well. St. Kent's, what are you worried about? Definitely worried about their set piece. I know they've always had a good set piece the last couple of years. But yeah, they'll definitely show where they're top 14. Excited? Yeah, definitely excited. Yeah, same as the boys. Good luck. Thank you. So the thoughts of the St. Peter's camp as we await the two teams to come out onto the park. Let's talk about St. Kendigan's now, uh, Afisa. And uh, they, well, they finished mid-table last year, uh, but they are a team that's building. Well, that's right. I think uh, he, he, he mentioned it at the start that last year wasn't uh, one of their best seasons, so they rectify it this year. And uh, obviously, there'll be a lot of year 12s that will repeat coming back, year 13. And so they'll be uh, a full squad um, this year and stronger. And he was mentioning, uh, Captain, that they've got a, a lot of speed on the woods, so that's going to be really interesting. Yes, absolutely. What a brilliant school St. Kentigan's College is. Lovely facilities here. School established in 1953 with the school motto, the faith must be kept. And St. Peter's, the away team, will come out onto the park first. And Kureni Luamanovai leading his school out. As I mentioned, they finished one short of winning the 1A title last year. There were no playoffs due to COVID, but they managed to finish the regular season. Kelston finished on top. St. Peter's just had the one loss, and that was the champions, Kelston. As the bagpipes start, have a listen to this.
St. Kentigan's College won national title to their name back in 2012. Six 1A titles, their last in 2017. And what a wonderful rugby institution they are, Afisa. Come with a lot of history. They uh, won lots of championships. They know how to win the game of footy, in particular on this ground. Uh, but the script is normally it's quite windy here. It's a lovely day. There's no wind out there. Ground conditions are nice and firm. And so it's going to be a far, hard and fast game of, of footy. So it's going to be really interesting um, how to see, in particular, just seeing how these midfielders are walking out. Josh, our big boys. So that's going to be a really good contest in, the, in that midfield. And uh, and as the uh, Lord Munway said, you know, the Ford pack. So they're watching them. That, that, that first part of the game is going to be really interesting. Tim Olaf will look after this match. And the 2022 1A season is about to get underway. <laughs> Dedicated fans for both schools. Wearing practically nothing, a heap load of paint though. <laughs> All right, let's have some fun. St. Kent's to kick off to St. Peter's right to left as we can see it. The 2022 1A season about to get underway. And St. Kent's get things going. St. Peter's with possession early. Kick it straight for the touchline. And St. Kent's will get the first line out. This is the one where all their training comes into play. First set piece. They talked about each other's set piece, so... The first line is going to be really important. Open it up, please. Three, take a step. Get it right to start. Take another step, please, too. Thank you, Kenningans. First line out. Just out from the 22 of St. Peter's. Straight to the front it goes. And here comes the driving ball early. Getting close to the touchline. Ball there for St. Kent's. Now, Terupo puts his head down. Makes some handy meters. Just short of the 22 still, St. Kent's. Penalty against the head. St. Peter's. Yeah, St. Peter's all started from the line out. They counter ruck on that line out, pushed them to the side. And St. Kennedy's didn't really get a chance to get their forward pack going forward. And nice little turnover there. As he goes there, timed it right, and then they went there, just went for an extra yard, and he just got turned over. Paul wrong on, on the wrong side, and poorly there, good turnover, strong on his feet. Line it on the halfway. Here for St. Peter's, they have first touch of the football, straight to the front it goes. And breaking away, St. Peter's just up over the halfway. Good controlled ball at the moment, using the forwards. Lua Manuvai taking it into the tackle. Fuka Fuka. Now Pattaya getting busy early. Still just inside that St. Kent's half. Fuka Fuka. How? Ziomanu Dingafua moves it on quickly. Now Fire Mani breaks away. Makes some handy meters up over the 10 meter mark. Good run from the center. Fuka Fuka plays first receiver. He gets Polly. Fuka Fuka hits the short side. Nice quick hands again. Burley. Brilliant support play. Bing down the sideline. Keeps in the field of play. This is good work from St. Peter's. I've spoken too soon. St. Kent's get the penalty. Great run of play. Running those phases. Really strong take up there by the centre, Faimani. And uh, just a lucky sort of turnover in there. It was just timed it right down that far 
flank as we saw what's a replay there they run just pumping those arms and knees up there and just going through the gap keep on going the short side and just timing it really well on the tackle here and turning over that ball lots of support down there far side there the st peter's are come all the way from the city a lot of noise down there that's for sure good height it's just that timing again so it just gives another chance for uh, say Kennedy in to get a good purchase you can have a line out but you can't kick on the full so it's a short arm kick you can have a line out here otherwise it's a free kick as a referee Tim was just mentioned so they're going to turn it up high no you can just kick field. straight away yeah. Yeah. Rooch has gone straight to the St Peter's hands and they look to bring it back Big run there from number eight, Tangi Fuyono. Fuka Fuka. Ball there for Tupo Via. St. Peter's just short of the halfway. Fuka Fuka. Puts in the box. St. Kitts way at the back. Take it nicely under a bit of pressure. Barucci does well. Ball there for Covers. Good support play at the back in the end from St. Kent's. Down the short side they play. Corral got the pass off to Martin. Now box kick. At the back, St. Peter's. Corral showing some great physicality up to the halfway. Ball there again. Short ball for Lua Manuva, the captain, up on the halfway, St. Peter's. Inside, inside the 15. Setting up for the box kick on. again, Fuka Fuka, goes high, bit of time this time for Barucci, has support inside at the back, 22. maybe a chance for a counter, St. Kitts. Just out from their own 22, good support play at the back for the home team. Covers. That's a move. Held up by the St. Peter's defence here. St. Kent's could be in trouble. Use it. And St. Peter's win the scrum. Turnover. Well, the boys from town have certainly come to play. They've uh, been making all the plays. They're running strong, taking that ball up strong and defending just as well. And, uh, and really smart just to holding up, pulling a ruck and then getting that turnover there. So St. Peter's are, are really taking them to taking this game to St. Kent's and just waiting for St. Kent's to... Start string a few phases together. Look to this midfield. I, 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 something about this midfield, I really like cool. just watching them in the warm up. And I think they'll be a, a big part of this uh, go forward of the St. Peter's team. Crouch! Attacking platform here for St. Peter's. Just short of the 22. Heat load of space out on the left. So to the right, to be fair. Ball a bit awkward off the scrum. A slight mistake. And St. Kent's will get the scrum. Yeah, a little fail. I think it was just a pop up there. Just went wrong in there. Transition there. I think they've got the channels right. They might have hit someone's boot there. But, uh, so missed opportunity on the set piece. I'm just a fan of a halfback just to get in that ball there and clear himself, but plenty of time. Really no need to do, but that's uh, real unfortunate. Crouch! Bind! Sit! Somewhat of a defensive scrum here for St. Kent's. Barucci moves it out. Daele has plenty of time to clear. Not a bad exit. And a very good exit in the end from St. Kent. St. Peter's will have a line out back on the halfway. Good exit. Yeah, nice exit from the skipper. Just on that right foot. And as we're thinking, 
now the wind seems to be picking up a bit by the looks of things. So St. Kennegan's playing into a slight breeze. That might play uh, a bit of a factor later on in this game. Blue by deep feeds. Fuka Fuka goes to the heavens. Pressure kick here. Take it nicely at the back. Nolfahu bringing it back. Lifted in the tackle. Nearly loses possession. St. Kent's under pressure. They still have it. Only just. Now a breakaway up the park. St. Kent's on the attack. Nansen. Ball there again, and it's awkward. And yeah, we'll play lock on here. A slight mistake in the end lock from on. St. Kent, St. Peter's with the scrum. Scrum. And you can see that like it's a, everybody's a little bit ring rusty after you know, but, but missing out a lot of rugby, and so all, after all the training, it's just putting it together, and sometimes just doing the simple things well and just a draw and pass. But there is a, just a great run here. Set the ball up nicely. It was just the next phase. Just quick clear ball and just a little bit of confusion there. Crouch! Bind! Sit! You set pieces already so far for both teams. Fuka Fuka has the short side, has a run himself. Down the short side, still going. Up short of the 22, St. Peter's on the attack. Hull plays halfback. Ball there for Smith, driven back in the tackle. St. Peter's still possession. Fuka Fuka. Hull decides to hold. Takes it in himself. Just short of that 22. Pui Vaiti drops the shoulder. Good physicality from the hook, and he's knocked it on. St. Kent's had possession. Taken back. Now maybe a chance for a counter again. Awkward pass. No advantage. And they'll come back for the first Not mistake. Certainly a lot of endeavour by both teams. Just that skill execution is probably just lacking a little bit, but that's just the excitement that they're bringing to the game. As we can see here, running down the blind side, he's playing a huge game. and has on, a big right. influence on the, uh, on the team. Uh, football. Territory dominated by St. Peter's early. It is early Time's though. Going back on, come yeah, and, and I think it's a little bit of that win too, but they're just neither team are holding on to the position. Probably just one set before where they had multiple phases here, but uh, certainly the St. Peter's team to me are just bringing the game to St. Kennedy's quite Time a bit. On. But they're weathering the storm very well. We'll go here. They just need to turn a bit of that pressure into points. Crouch! Bind! Ready, ready! Sit! Ready. Big scrum again from St. Peter's. St. Ken's do out it. Hook it back quickly. Barucci clears. Massive kick. He's taken back. He's taken back. So, unfortunately, they will go right back to where it was kicked. So another opportunity for St. Peter's place, here in their 22 just to get a set piece going. A good strike move and then get their big runners because their big runners are making inroads here. Another attacking platform for St. Peter's. Good go for a ball from the St. Peter's forward pack. Boy, with control of it at the back. Puller there in support, trying to keep it in. Still going forward, St. Peter's. Good meterage from this forward pack. Keeping it going, breaking away. And they'll come back for the no advantage. And a penalty. And the side. Yeah, they have to be very careful there. 
wasn't too cynical there, drove in the side and touched them out. I think uh, Tim, the referee, is uh, a little bit lenient there, but uh, gives them another opportunity for a line-out drive. Great attacking platform here, St. Peter's. Deep inside the 22, looking for the first try of the match. First points of the match. Looking good so far. Two metres out. Driving ball getting close to their touch line. Still keeping it alive though. To ground it goes. Short by two. St. Peter's. Looking to wrestle their way over. Pataya. Driven back slightly. Ball still there. And a slight mistake. St. Kitts win the scrum. Yeah, just being the patience here, but good good work from St. Kennigan's defence, just getting off the line and, and putting a couple of big hits there and uh, forcing that turnover and, and the mistake there just short of the line. Yeah, real quick hook on their ball. So St. Kennigan's not quite out of danger yet. We as go, we boys. know that uh, St. Peter's uh, uh, scrum is, is strong, so Make sure we wait uh, exit's uh, a, a huge part of this game. And we'll see how St. Kent's get out, uh, gets out of this one. Stay balanced, boys. Crouch. Bind. Sit. Another defensive scrum deep inside their 22. St. Kent's looking to drive it out. Ten to four. Ball's gone behind. St. Peter's have picked up the scraps. A double knock on. First by White, then by Goals. Now St. Peter's will get an attacking scrum. Scrum. You see here on the on the exit here. Good carry here. Just that ball security and that ball maintenance is really important. But that was good. To, Let's go, boys. Good little dig there from the um, the halfback there, but. Again, another another opportunity for St. Peter's to right in their strike zone here. A good set place, good set play here. We'll get them going. Just multiple phases. Crouch. Binds. Set. Taking platform. We've gone before. Free kick, St. Kent's. We've chased our feet. We've chased our feet. It's free kick. This will give them a chance to get out of their 22. Sam Tankin, Patuawa. Finds the touchline. To invite it to the middle, stolen by St. Kitts. Good work from the lock, Fayers, as he drives his way up a bit further, just short of the halfway. Penalty as well for the home team. Nine on the side. Yeah, good steal here by St. Gennigan's, St. Kent's. Nine on the Just side. timing that run right. Then he carries the ball forward, gets them go forward. And not releasing on the ground. So this is probably the first chance St. Kent's will probably get into the half and have an attacking opportunity. Again, it all starts from that set piece. So the lineup seems to be functioning really well, which is good. Ango Malo, this one's been won against the head. Toy Vaiti has it for St. Peter's. And they get rid of it inside their 22. Won't find the touchline. St. Kitts bringing it back. Patuala, low kick looking for some territory. St. Peter's will bring this back. This will be interesting. On the charge, the big number eight again, Tangi Fuimuono, up over the halfway. St. Peter's, Inside. ball there. 
Fuka Fuka puts in the Gary Owen. Not much distance on the kick. St. Kent's have knocked it on. St. Peter's got the knock on position. Pulle got the pass away. Big contact from St. Kent's. St. Peter's still have it though. They hoof it ahead. Burley looking for some open real estate at the back. Brilliant touch finder. Yeah, nice play there. Um, Way to clean right it up there. too. With a good I, kick I down there in that far corner. Oh, sorry. Off the strip, I think it came back. Yep. White ball. So just checking if that was a 50 22, which I is not the case. I believe it was back by you guys. It's taken back into the 50, so their line out. Or was that 52? No, it was taken back into the 50 by you guys. So draw back inside the half, hence why it's not a 50 22. Pressure line out here for St. Kent. Sorry. That's the second league. one, repeat infringements. Yes. Up early. Yeah, just got to get their timing right. They've got the right idea getting both jumpers up. But just got to get their timing right. Must stay down to the ball's in. Okay. Nineteen minutes gone, middle of the score. St. Kitts hit the front, ball's gone straight to ground, and another mistake. St. Peter's will get a In the line out, knocked on, we scrum on the 15. No, it's just knocked on. Just here, yeah, yeah, on the 15. So, catch your feet, but don't chase through. Yep. Hey, contest the hit, but catch your feet, don't chase them. Same thing, I need you to wait till that line-up's over before you come up, if you start back 10. If you start back 10, you've got to wait. Tim's quite clearly uh, keeping an eye on the props to just... We'll say just keep on going with the push on the on the hit. Bines. Which is also a good tactic. Sit. Nice steady scrum, St. Peter's. As they fling it out. Fire Marnie in the first receiver. Got the pass away. And a penalty as well for St. Peter's. And maybe go for the three here. I think so. Well, I think it's uh, right in front. Um, they do back themselves, but I think uh, they've got three points there to be given there for the taking. So, shot again, shot you know, there's a nice set piece, simple, straight to center. Let him carry, he's a strong runner, offload there, and uh, a bit fortunate that uh, he got tackled before the pass game. But, um, but they are dangerous, they're a dangerous team. This uh, St. Peter's team. Um, understand your dominance at scrum time. Just that you boys doing the things that keep you dominant. Powerful centre partnership are Siomanu Tinga Four and Fire Mani and number 13 for St. Peter's. Powerful centre partnership. points on option Fuga Fuga gets it first points for St Peter's they lead 3-0 yeah they've been they've been making a lot of play uh, in this first half and uh, they've come out with three points so you know let's see if they can build on it St Kennegan's been defending a lot in this half as you can see in the territory and uh, hopefully they can sort of string a few phases, but they need to get that ball. Kick off from St. Kent's, fielded, and they're bringing it back here. St. Peter's, Fuka Fuka with a good run, it's been left Thank behind. You, advantage. And a penalty for St. Kent's. Nice powerful run from the halfback. Clear image on that, or? And the ref wants to have a chat here. Time is off, time is off. Okay. 
on the tackle. Uh, no attempt to wrap. Reckless, so it's a yellow card. Oh. Okay, well, it'll be nice to see the, we'll see the replay on that one. Reckless. Uh, no arms. And he's a key member of the team, too. Fuka Fuka. So it'll be interesting who's going to come out halfback and cover him there. But uh, class is a, a reckless tackle. No arms. And is in the bin. So we can see the replay here. Did really well there on the take. Comes through, but just lost the ball. Make sure we take that gap. And this is where he came back in here. And uh, yeah. Attacking line out St. Kent's. Looking to reply. Serve as they drive their way up inside the 22. Into touch they go. It's gone into touch. St. Peter's will get the line out. Five men or four men? So five men or four men? Five yep, so four men. Good line out, St. Peter's. They look to clean things up. Follett taking it into the tackle. Just inside their 22 here. Stop in front. Flinging it back under pressure. Burley manages to get rid of it only just. St. Kitts will get an attacking line out. Yeah, that was good pressure there from St. Kitts. Lots of pressure. <laughs> it makes a big difference when you don't have your halfback on there. But he did well here, but the clearance just got away. He just missed it charge down kick there so pressure's right back on again to St. Peter's and St. Kent's have got another opportunity with their set piece. Well now good for St. Kent's. I like to bring it inside the 22. Terapo drives his way up 10 metres out from that St. Peter's line on the attack. Koro takes it in further. Now changing directions covers. Flinging it wide. Moen Wrapped up in the tackle, St. Kent's. First real attacking opportunity. Now getting the forwards involved. Covers. Gets it out again. Driving his way and turning in the tackle. Tackle! Martin. Seven metres out, right in front of the sticks again. Fayers. Covers. Tenapo puts in the fend. Gets closer. The legs. One meter short. Down. Going forwards. And no St. Kent will get the attacking going scrum. Forwards, unplayable. Another chance coming up. Scrum, Lots of good plays there from St. Kent's. Really the first time we've seen them attack multiple phases here. Strong defense here by St. Peter's. They're really desperate on the line there. Some big hits coming in there, going on their front foot and uh, and turning them back. But uh, St. Kent's got a ideal opportunity here now one man short no halfback so it'd be interesting to see how they d up here Let's see a simple eight nine going to the right side and be just numbers so it'll be interesting to see how they attack this crouch bind sit Nice steady scrum, covers down the short side. Now Fahu, drawing in the defence, close, centimetres close. Penalty St. Peters. Holding on. Holding on. Great defence there. I think it might be Feimani again, they sort of gotten there strong over his feet to that turnover right on the line. Hey boys at the line out, we need to make our numbers clear. Yep. <laughs> oh, hasn't found the touch line. St. Kent's bringing it back. Patuawa. Moen. Flinging it wide now. 
Here it is for Daily, the captain. Could be holding on again, but not rolling away the call, so St. Kent's get the penalty. Maybe look for the touchline here. Yeah, watching the replay again, going to that wide channel. Just going on top, not letting go. Tough call. I thought he was strong over that. Over that ball, but uh, another opportunity for St. Kitts. St. Peter's doing really well with 14 players at the moment. How many, boys? How many? Six men. Back deep inside the 22 again, St. Kent's looking for the first try of the match. They're down by three. Driving more starts for the home team. And the broken away penalty advantage as well, though, for St. Kent's. Connell. Covers. Ball there for Fayers. Covers again. Ball on the shot, ball on the inside. Keeper. Driving further forward. Covers. Barucci into the backs. Patuawa puts in the step twice. Trying to duck his way through. Gets up, has another go. Penalty again we'll for the home team. Advantage. Offside eight. St. Kent's just putting through a lot of phases here. Off the set piece, but that defense from uh, St. Peter's is very hearty at the moment. They're getting off the line, making some big hits. How long can it continue? Another set piece here, another go, their line out drive. <laughs> have to be careful now. There's a few penalties, so Tim, the left referee. Deep inside the 22, St. Kent's had position. Not a knock on. So. Only just though. Only just, I'd say. On the attack, trying to catch the napping. St. Kent's sent to man a shot. Shots on play. There's the first try. Tito scores. Yeah, that's been a build up for a while now. The defence uh, from St. Peter's has been strong, but they just needed that one extra man there. But that was a strong take there. Good pick and go from St. Kent's. And just on that short side. Pick and go through the middle there. Everybody looking in, and just that one player out. Well played. Yeah, three more to go. We're five minutes now to go. We're three and a bit. So probably four until it kick off. It's all. He's very happy about that. So his boys is right next, next to their supporters. Perfect. Um, yeah, lots of lots of moves by St. Kent's to counter the dominance by St. Peter's and set piece. So we've got real quick blocks just to be aware of. So we can get it in line up. Right on the corner here. Kicking into the wind, so he'll be aiming to that left post. Drift out into the middle. Nailed it. Nice. Seven points to three. Four minutes to go before half time. Home team have the advantage. Yeah, they haven't had to defend since. So. Just under, just under two minutes for the other one. Four minutes till half, boys. Burley kicks off, St. Kent's. Take it in. Mangu gets up, has another go. Just inside their own half here. 
St. Kent's. Time you run. Use the ball. Covers. Taking his time here. Puts in the box. Moen chasing. Burley takes. Manages to get away from the first tackle. Ball still there for St. Peter's. Hole. Pattaya. He puts his head down. Plays on it. Seven offside. Smith plays halfback. Back it goes. Hole under pressure. No advantage. And they'll come back for the no Seven advantage offside. penalty for the away team. Smart play in there, box side. kick in there, but just uh, just a little bit too eager getting on off their line. Hey, hey. St. Peter's a couple more minutes before Fugu Fuga is back on. And he's a key member of this team, both on attack and defence. They can slowly run the clock down and he should be back soon. Where is he, guys? Oh, yeah, 100 sticks. Sinbin's coming back on. What's happened here, Dossie? Oh. Okay. Time's off. So St. Peter's back to 15 men. With two minutes to play before half time. Yeah. We're uh, we're two minutes till half boys, so he's done, he's done it. I think he might have done the Achilles, he reckons. I think he was just running to the line out and he just fell over. So we've got two minutes to half. Are you going to make it through? St. Kent's dominating stats. Okay. In that last 10 minutes, mind you, they've been playing against 14 men. Cool, let's go, boys. Time is on. Keep space. Take the space off there. Right on the halfway. To Vaiti. Fuka Fuka into the backs. Hole. Now, pull it up over the halfway. Fuka Fuka. Hits the left-hand side, hole. Ball there for Bayamani. Wrapped in the tackle right on the halfway still. Burley plays halfback. All this time for Lua Manuvai. Fuka Fuka. Hole. Tupo Via. Ball coming slowly. It's still there, though. Fuka Fuka. Hits the left-hand side this time, hole. Now, Bayamani down the sideline, the ref blow his whistle. Stop. And let's have a listen off. to this. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of a. Time is off. Especially with the captain in the midfield Boys, back, there. Please. Back. Just, oh, wait, we had double penalties here. I'm going to talk to you in a second. Captain, so there's a tackle without the ball. So you had advantage and the clean break. But retaliation from your player is turning the penalty around. So it's their penalty here. First, Correct, and you're retaliated, so it's their penalty. Cool. Penalty here. Well, that's pretty unfortunate because uh, so a you know, so the just ball, let it go. And then the retaliation. And then there was a, a bit of pushing Hit after the ball. Shot. So Tim has uh, reversed shot the penalty. Ball. It just gives an opportunity for uh, a shot at goal for Skipper. Yeah, well, right on half time. Just be aware with retaliation. Taele will line up the kick. Into the final minute. Time's up there, guys. Of the first half. Yeah, I so it's all the whole thing.
Good kick. Good kick indeed. Taele nails it. That's oh, half time on. here in Pakuranga. 10 points to three, the half time score. St. Kent's leads St. Peter's at the break. Just tell me, man. Land Rover first 15 rugby. In the opening game to the 1A for 2022, second half underway, and St. Peter's have managed to regain it from kickoff. Ball's a bit awkward, but it's there. Fuku Fuka. Ball there by Armani playing half back now. To Bovia. He knocks it on. Possession now for St. Kent's. They hoof it down the field. Tedapur got rid of it. Now St. Kent's are flying for this. St. Peter's still lead the charge. And they have possession. Deep inside their 22. Under a bit of pressure. Coming slowly. Use it! But good support there. Pataya. Fuka Fuka gets rid of it. St. Kent's will get a net gain. Yep, you can see their intent straight away. They know their ground, so they as soon as they get that ball, they're going to put it down in that corner, that far corner, and they're going to make that St. Peter's team work out from that in their 22. How many, boys? Five, Ben? Straight away, St. Peter's under the, under the pump. Over, back off. St. Peter's won it against the head. Fuka Fuka under pressure. Clears again. St. Kent will get another line out. Here's your mark. Here's your Take a meter. No, I need you to stay there, please. Stay there. Hold, hold, tease, Hang on, Marlo. Line out, not straight. Scrum or line out, Rennie? Scrum. Scrum or line out. Yeah, St. Peter's ball. opt for the scrum. That's a steer, eh? You're right. <laughs> it's interesting to see what St. Peter's does from here. Will they run through the back line or will they, they kick for territory? Um, the outside backs they haven't had much to do today. Come off the back. Hungry for your mono down the left hand side. Now Fuka Fuka puts in a shorter box kick this time, trying to regain the ball. They've done well to keep it in the field of play. No, they haven't. Into touch they go. But not a bad option from the halfback. Yeah, not a bad one. A little tops kick there. Timing right, a good, good combination with his left winger there. Uh, and uh, just unfortunate, just nice little tops kick there. In the air, but just, How many boys? Four. just got pushed out there. Hang on, Marlo. Tapped on again. St. Peter's had possession again. Smith. Up over the 10 metre mark. Fuka Fuka. Awaits. Lua Manuvai. Puts in the feed. Advantage, nine. Penalty advantage, advantage as well. Offside for St. Peter's. Midfield, now Hull puts in a chip and over the top. St. Kent should feel this, they do. And they'll come Hull back for the penalty. Come back. Right in front of the sticks. Seven and 12 offside, correct? And about 30 metres out. Oh. Offside, seven and 12. Must take a step, boys. Yeah, Lua Manuway wasn't looking at the post. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him as well. I think he's gonna back their line out. Gonna go for the corner. And uh, really take on the St. Kennegan's forward, forward pack. I said last couple of times that the yeah, set piece was working well and then they lost it, so I'm not gonna say anything this time. Hold space. How many boys? 
five man in. Line out right on the, the 22. Receiver. 30 minutes to yep. play before full time. St. Peter's with the line out. And St. Kent's have the advantage and possession. Barucci flings it out. Tierapo. Should I say Daele gets rid of it, finds the touch line. No it was brought back. Not straight at the line out. It'll come back for the no advantage. And St. Kent's will get boys. a defensive scrum. Scrum or line out? Scrum. Scrum calls. Not straight. St. Peter's Lord Manuvai and his forward pack there, in particular the scrum, is really starting to dominate here. So St. Kent's will have to get that ball, channel one, out straight away because they've been getting the jump on them every time it's scrum time. On me! Hines! Sit! Big shot from St. Peter's. St. Kent's managed to get it out and clear. Seven out! And a good touch finder. Back on the halfway. Yeah, nice scrum. Nice clear exit. 8 9, and, and a nice little kick there to the wind uh, with the wind there with the uh, uh, halfback. To the front. St. Peter's start up the driving ball. Tui Vaiti with control of it at the back. Just inside the St. Kent's half. That's once! The away team has been warned. Still making metres. St. Peter's. Still moving. Seven, last feet. And they'll continue to keep rolling. Advantage down by four. Penalty advantage for St. Peter's. They managed to get a penalty out of this. Fuku Fuka. Hole. Now, Siamanu Tingafua got rid of the first tackle, then a big tackle from Daele. Big defence from the St. Kent's captain. Ball still there for St. Peter's. This time, Tupo Via driven back in the tackle. Fuka Fuka has a quick go, got the pass away. Nice quick hands. Nansen now, Fayamani finding a hole up the park. Fayamani still going up inside the 22. St. Peter's on the attack. Pole. Drives it further forward, 10 metres out. St. Peter's in the red zone. Pick and go again. Stringing phases together Seven at the moment. Tui Vaiti gets up, has another go. Four metres out, another quick pick and go. Using the forwards. Trying to power their way over the line. Playing advantage. Penalty advantage as well. Lua Manuvai got the pass out. Spreading it. Now some open space again. Fayamani, the bloke who started it. Another quick pick and go. Fuka Fuka. Drives over. Scores. Right there. Catches the napping. What a nice build of a play there. High count to 17 phases there. And it was good control, in particular by the halfback there. Fuka Fuka. Do you want the penalty or the try? As we see the replay, again, if I'm only here, he was the one who's just taking up straight and strong. Good feet. And transfer that ball back, and then they just keep running. They keep building that with their forward play, just dominant forward play. And then when that opportunity came with the pick and go, there he goes, the line there. Well played. Take time off. So a bit of an injury break. Okay. Well, powerful centre for yeah. Armani. Yeah. It's seen to. Cool. Yeah, those two big runs. He's a key uh, man to get, get go forward. Time's on. A big loss if he was to go off, but he uh, 
couple of those big runs that he had might have got trapped underneath the tackle and it looks like that's him done for the day this will level things up kick right in front of the sticks here yep 10 all Um, guys, we must start behind the home run Gets things going again. Deep kick off. Fuka Fuka, the captain. Sorry, should I say the try scorer? Finding the touch line. He really impressed the way he's been playing today. He really keeps calm and directs his forward back around the field. Also kicks off both feet quite well. And uh, and, and and obviously kicks off the floor with the conversion. So he's a very busy and a, and a key player for this team. Line out here for St. Kent's, Barucci, Patuawa, Bayele stopped in his tracks. Ball there on the halfway for St. Kent's. Now Tedapo trying to find some channels up the park. Ball there for Cuthers. Now Fayers got the pass away. Cuthers again. Barucci, Patuawa, stepping, trying to find a hole. Covers. This time, Alain Marlo drops the shoulder, pumps the legs. Tackle! Up to the 10 metre mark. St. Peter's defence holding nicely at the moment. Covers. That's the short side. Ferrucci. Ball's been deflected. St. Kent's have it again on the charge this time. Lange for St. Kent's. Covers. Ferrucci. Now Collor, Collor in the centres, taken in the tackle, covers again, looks right, looks left, goes left, Lung, covers, Berucci, stringing the phases together, St. Kent's, Taele takes it in, St. Peter's defence, good at the moment, covers, Angai Maru, Covers decides to kick. And St. Peter's will field that. Burley has plenty of time. And he won't find the touchline. St. Kent's bringing it back. Patuawa looking for some space. Fielded it at the back by Nansen. Now Hole has time. He clears. And he'll find the touchline in a. Quick line out taken. St. Kent's want to keep this alive. Barucci, he drops in the kick. Not the greatest of kicks. Awkward bounce, but it's there for St. Peter's. They look to bring it back. Bent up over the halfway. Bent still going. Got the pass away. Yeah, that was forward. Yeah, that was forward. Four pass. Four pass. He did everything well there. Came down that sideline and just. Interesting to see the replay there. It'll probably be uh, line ball. Well, that one there on the missed kick here. Did well to grab that one, control it, knew that like a drill inside outside. Took two out. Oh, I don't know. We'll probably see this probably in a better angle. Yeah, four from the head. Good call there, Tim. Crouch! Hope you're enjoying 
this coverage Bones. of Land Rover First 15 Rugby, the first game of the 2022 1A season. Out it comes Barucci. Daily. There's plenty of time to kick. Looking for a 50-22. It will hold up only just. Burley. Looks to get rid of the first defender. Awkward ball. St. Kent's have it. Patuawa got the pass away. Tenapal up inside the 22. St. Kent's looking to re-hit the lead. Yeah. New advantage of Bayes. Penalty advantage as well for St. Kent's. Covers. Barucci flinging it wide. Ball there for Coro. He knocks it on. They'll come back for the no advantage. And a penalty for the home team. Offside. And so boy, Paul then saved in there with a good tackle, ball and all tackle, but uh, not getting away with the advantage and not taken. So this should be hey, who's your skip to make? Just want to go. Easy kick here for skipper. So Eli, but here just not exiting out, just getting two minds of whether they're going to run it or kick it. And uh, unfortunately, there was a turnover there. Josie, can you deliver that message? Same message? Yeah. Um, can you just give free message? That's really Zavi Daily. Two out of two so far. Looking to take back the lead. Ten all the score currently. 19 minutes to play. <laughs> He's nailed it. 13 10. Sub coming. It's all done. Are oh, your yeah, 13s off? Cool. It's a big move. Big move for the captain to go off. So Taylor's off. Looks like both centres are coming, and I just uh, mentioned that uh, um, Benny Seal has come on for St Peter's in Jersey 22. Fuka Fuka restarts. Patuawa. Returns. Won't find the touchline. Fuka Fuka. Looks to have a bit of a run. Fuka Fuka. Finding some space up the park. Got the pass away. To Povia. Driven in the tackle. Nearly lifted. Just short of the 22. St. Peter's hit the short side again. Ball there for Penesio. Up inside the 22. Quick pick and go. Trying to catch the napping again. Ango Marlo. Plenty of metres there. Another pick and go. Malifa taking it in now. Pataya out into the back hole. Now it's here for Siumanu. King of Fua. Pataya in support. Just inside that 22 still. St. Peter's. No. Coming slowly. Let now. Ball there for Smith. Got the pass again. Angai Marlo. Been busy today. The hooker. Wrestling with the defence. Up to the five metre mark. Deep inside the 22. Down the short side they play. Oh, he takes it in. Penalty advantage as well for St. Peter's. Ball again. Smith. He puts his head down. St. Peter's looking for the lead. Lua Manuvai, Fuka Fuka, lost his headgear, still going. Ducks in the tackle. Six metres out from the line. Another quick pick and go. This time, Lua Manuvai, the captain, right in front of the sticks. Bent, hits the right hand side. Tupo Via. Penalty. 
Time is off. Time off. And the ref will have a chat. Time off. 14. Go to the card. Go to the pocket. 14. Offside again. That's four offsides. Yep, there might be a, a team penalty Three. there. Three. Do you want the penalty here or on the? It's about eight metres from touch. Do you want eight metres? Cool. The big call. To oh, I see him. Yep. Take the penalty close by the touchline. They're not, not going for the points. Here. They're obviously going for this one. Going for the try. Offside. That's on the replay here. If he just looked to his right, there was a, a four-man overlap with well, no one there. And so they were a bit lucky there. Time off, guys. Take Kent. Time is off. Time is off. I'm getting the blood sorted. Looks like a, a key player. Fuku Fuka. I saw him take that ball into the ruck just in front of us and in, in front of the post and yeah that, that collision there in fact all the collisions today have been have been huge and uh, and he's been playing you know he, he give it to me I'll take it up so he's been taking up ball as well as as uh, um, directing play if you wash it off it's not still bleeding is it <coughs> A tight encounter with 16 minutes to play. Players getting a breather. Looks like he is going to go off. He's had a good game. He's a player for the future, that is for sure. Blair, Tangi, Fuyamono. Busy in the lineouts. Elusive runner. Tall and strong. Lean. Makes himself a nuisance out there for the defence, that's for sure. Not straight. The call, St. Kitts. Win the scrum. Eight. Are you captain at the moment? Yeah, cool. The number 20 has come on for. Scrum. Fukuoka, um, Sili, and Judy number 20 at halfback while he's at, on the blood bin. So his first job, he took that one at the back of the line and unfortunately it was not straight. But uh, St. Kent's still under pressure, so this is the exit. So most of them say exits are a really key part of the game. So I would say... We'll give him some space, eh? Crouch! Tere Port will look to carry that ball up. And then Five. they'll be looking to try and get a kick for territory. Six. Defensive scrum for St. Kent's. Ted Drives it up. Time you run. Coming slowly yes, for St. Kent's. Ball there though. Covers. Barucci. On. And does he found the touchline? Yes, he has. Awkward bounce in the end at the back for St. Peter's, but they take it quickly anyway. Burley bringing it back. Burley looking to go down the sideline. Burley bringing it back even more. Got the pass away. There it is. St. Peter's get a brilliant counter attacking try. Pagi Fuimono under the sticks. And they've been counter attacking really well, and particularly when they go back to the side of the line that they've come from. They haven't been protecting that line well, St. Kent's. But this time they strung the right passes. No forward pass this time and just that support play on the inside. Again, coming back on the counter-attack. Good dummy in there. Good footwork. And just just surveying the options. Ball inside. I think that's Tito. Number eight. Tangi Fumono. 
lines back on. Nah, we went on the field, so we can't take the conversion. You went on the field, so you can't take the conversion. So it looks like the uh, bloodbend is back and back on. Unfortunately, can't take the conversion. So it looks like Briley that set up that beautiful counter attack is going to take the conversion. Good for Burley. 17 points to 13. St. Peter's re hit the lead. Great attacking position here for St. Peter's. Always nice on the midfield scrum. Crouch. You know, 8, 9, 15 in. Remember, they do have one short on the wing, so Crouch. this is a good opportunity to, to find or play the Bind. edges. In particular, with a dangerous attacking weapon Stand of Fuku Fuku Fuku. Let's go, boys. Down again. This is precious minutes. Just ticking away. Seconds. 11 minutes to play now. Same piece with the scrum on the halfway. Crouch! Bind! No, that was by gold. Yeah. We'll have one each, we'll reset. Yeah. We need balance, boys. Locks, balance. Yeah. Had a real good tight battle with these uh, two forward packs tonight. And, um, you know, really nothing in it. Really a set piece. And just that line out time, both of them making mistakes, but uh, scrum really solid. Well coached in their scrum and their technique as well. Don't forget next week. 12 p.m. on Saturday, Linda's Farm taking on Wesley. Central North Island competition. Here comes St. Peter's down the right hand side. Burley hasn't even dangerous in the last 10 minutes or so. Ball there. Fuka Fuka. Smith taking it in. Slowly the clock winds down. 10 minutes to play. Short side. They go. Intercepted. Maybe a chance here for St. As they race down the sideline, Pahulu racing, racing, oh, too fast. Try on the corner, St. Kitts, Ray hit the lead. Oh, oh, oh. How did that happen? It'll be good to see the replay on that one. That was just uh, the picket here going for the second man play. This short ball, and he picked it. It was either going to be try to either side and then it was just a foot race but Hulu down there in the corner right in front of the, the bench St Peter's bench Nice try there. 
Look at them go bananas. The faithful on the touchline. Now this conversion to push it out to three. from St. Peter's, there's going to be a reply. They just need to get that ball back in there and play their game. They've been playing up, just tracking up with their big runners. And then when they went to go out wide and the intercept, just those little inaccuracies. So we'll see how St. Kent's, if they can close this game off. But this kickoff is a key part of the game. Six minutes. Fuka Fuka restarts again, short and high, and it's been regained by St. Peter's. Brilliant work again from Pangi Fuimuono. Fuka Fuka gives the pass off to Anga Malo. The happy hooker down the left hand side, they come this time. Smith pumping the legs up to the 22. They're down by one of St. Peter's. Fuka Fuka, Anga Malo. Should I say, Pui Vaiti. Ball there again now. Pole got the pass away. Malifa. Pick and go. Lua Manuva. Now, break it away, trying to make a nuisance of himself. Malifa. Up inside the 22, deep inside the 22. St. Peter's looking to bring it back. Lua Manuvai, again. Still just one point short. Another go. Pull it. Five metres out, another quick pick and go. They've got numbers out on the wing here if they want. St. Peter's. No Centimetres short. Another go. Crash it over. Short, another quick pick and go. There's the try, and they re hit the lead. And it's a skipper sticking to what they know best the pick and goes, they're big runners, and it's paid dividends for them. Lua Manuvai, Lua Manuvai coming up with that big smile, he's happy. Great reply from that intercept try, and uh, good work, good power, just surging up through the middle. And again, somehow I feel this game's still not over. I still think there's something left on this game. I think there will be a reply from St. Kent's. They've got too much pride in their, in their score on this ground to not come with a, a massive finish. good 24 points to 18 four and a half minutes to play you watch uh, the replay here good set that last pick and go and use that power with a couple of boys behind him and uh, right underneath the post Shot's gone backwards, says the ref. Fuku Fuku manages to get rid of it. But St. Kitts will get a line-up just out from the 22. Just hold that space, so I'll get your numbers for you. We're all in, boys. We're all in. We're talking about key moments. I think the seat pass here is going to be a key moment for St. Kitts. Malo for practicing all week days for this one, so he needs to hit his jumper. 
And a man up beats. For St. Peter's. The line out was not over. Must stay back 10 until the line out's over. Offside. Yeah, that's a tough one too, but is it correct in the ruling? He can't come into line if he's out and they've got their numbers stacked. Until that line line out moves from the line forward or back, then that half can come up. And unfortunately it didn't move it straight down and uh Tim, referee Tim has picked them up from that. Yeah! Trying to find the touchline, he has in the end. St. Kent's trying to keep it in the field of play, a little bit unlucky. And St. Peter's with the line out just out from the St. Kent's 22. Three minutes to play, and they'll be looking to wind down the clock. They lead by six. Knocked on by St. Peter's, St. Kent's with possession. They need a converted try to hit the lead. Knock on advantage. Golo. Advantage is over. Wing is on. Now, boxing at the back. Not a bad kick. Is that a 50 22? Outside the 22? Yeah. Just outside. Yep. Oh, Only was a just. Great box kick. I tell you. There wasn't much in seconds. it. 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Yep. Let's go, boys. Good call from the referee. Yep. Four. Four more. Four, four men. Two way tee. Big line out throw for him. Oh. Nice. 70 seconds to play. St. Peter's with possession. They'll be looking to wind down the clock. Pole takes it in. Just out from the 22. Another pick and go. St. Kennigan's asking questions of the referee. St. Peter's still have it. Fuka Fuka. Use it. Puts in the box. St. Kent's will have one last chance if they can regain this. They can. And it's hit here. Taking it into the tackle, held up though by the strong St. Peter's defence. Ball's popped out awkwardly, tapped on. St. Peter's had possession. 30 seconds to play. Use it! Fuka Fuka puts in another box, it's been deflected. St. Kent's will have possession here. Only just. One last roll of the dice. Penalty for St. Peter's. And that should be about it. Well, he, he, it's 10 seconds he now. got the but his, his clearance kick charged down. But he made up for it going back in there and getting the turnover. Time is up. Time is up. The time's up. For fitting for I think probably the the key player of today's game. That he kicks the last one out. St. Peter's get the victory, their first victory of the season in their opening game to the 1A. 24 points to 18, the full-time scored. St. Peter's over St. Kitts.